So we're going to show you some stick stretching moves. We're using a short four foot stick here. And what the stick does is it helps to give us leverage. It helps you to get a little bit more of a stretch than you ordinarily would without the stick. But at the same time, it also gives you more control over this stretch. So you get a better stretch, but also a safer stretch. It's also a dynamic stretch, which means you're getting a stretch in motion as opposed to a static stretch where you're not moving as much. So you're actually covering a lot of ground at one time. I think stick stretching is great for busy people, because we're all busy. So we're going to start with the stick holding it at the ends like this. And while we're holding the sticks, we're putting a little bit of pressure in at the ends. And when you put in a little bit of pressure, it engages the core. We get some isometric work, which is uh, when the muscle is contracted, but not a lot of movement visibly is happening. Our stance is basically what's called a horse stance, where our feet are about shoulder width apart, soft bend in the knees, pelvis tilted, and we're upright. So we're going to start with gentle pushing side to side. So as we're pushing, one side is giving a push that gives us some muscular work, and the other side is getting a stretch. So you just push to where it's comfortable. If it hurts, don't do it. And as we're pushing like this side to side, what we're going to do is start slowly moving the stick further up. And as we're going up, we're pushing the stick a little bit off to the sides as well. Just very slight rotation. As the stick goes up higher, you should be feeling the stretch more in the chest and different parts of the shoulder. And if you listen to 80s music while you're doing this, you get um, more exciting aerobic workout. So as the stick is up high here, Muscles get very weak. 
and they need more work. You're also getting a little bit of a stretch here in your wrists, and this position helps to open up the chest as well. So you're getting a lot of bonus stretch. While you have the stick here behind the base of your skull, you can also roll it like so, and slowly turn your head side to side. As you're doing this, you may find some sore spots along the base of your skull. And if you like, you can spend a little more time on those spots. This is especially good for people who get tension headaches. Again, while you're working on your, your head and your neck, you're getting some bonus stretching in your wrist and your chest. And that's the basic repertoire with the short stick. Short stick is mainly for shoulders and neck.